Today I'm making 100% whole wheat sourdough rolls. Our ingredients are sourdough starter, warm milk, room temperature butter, molasses, honey, eggs, apple cider vinegar, salt, vital wheat gluten, and 100% whole wheat flour. In your mixer, you're going to add your sourdough starter, your warm milk, your butter, your beaten eggs, your molasses, and your honey. You're going to mix it together to get everything fully incorporated. Be sure to use a scale to measure your ingredients so that your recipe comes out accurately. If you have molasses, please use it in this recipe. It really does make such a delicious difference in the taste of these rolls. Every once in a while, stop your mixer and scrape down the sides. I'm using my spatula here to kind of scrape up the molasses and the honey that got stuck on the bottom to make sure that it gets fully mixed in. If you don't have molasses, you could use all honey, so just switch out the measurement of 50 grams of molasses for an extra 50 grams of honey, or you could do all molasses and do 100 grams of molasses and no honey. Now it's time to add the 10 grams of apple cider vinegar and the 12 grams of salt. From here, we're going to add 22 grams of vital wheat gluten. And vital wheat gluten is just going to give the rolls a, a loft. You use vital wheat gluten a lot of times when you are baking with yeasted breads that have whole wheat in them. If you do not have vital wheat gluten, don't go out and buy it. These rolls will come out beautifully without it. It just might take a little bit longer for them to rise. Now it's time to start measuring and adding in the 550 grams of whole wheat flour. Now I used freshly milled white hard wheat berries um, and I ground that up and that's the flour that I'm using, but any whole wheat flour will work beautifully. And this is a very wet dough, so you're going to want to scrape down the bowl constantly and don't be too excited to add extra flour. I know you're going to want to, I know I wanted to, but you just have to trust the process and it will come together. Now this dough is going to be kneading for 20 to 25 minutes. That's an extremely long time. Most doughs are somewhere around the five minute to 10 minute mark, especially when you're doing something with sourdough, you hardly ever mix anything for this long. So this is an enriched dough. It's going to take a little bit more. And at the end, you're going to check for that window pane test at the end that you'll see coming up. As you can see, I'm continually scraping down the bowl and making sure that the dough is coming together. And as you, you see there, it is looking a little bit thicker, less shaggy, less wet um, and sticky, but it still needs more mixing at this point in time. Now, I'm not a professional baker in any way, shape or form. I just enjoy baking in my free time. I'm not a professional. I look up recipes like everybody else. And this is a recipe that I did find online. So I hope that you'll give it a try. As you can see, my dough has finally come together after 20 some minutes of kneading. Now my Bosch mixer is made for kneading dough since that's what I pr primarily do. And here's that window pane test. It pulls so that you can kind of see light through the dough and that way you know that enough gluten has been formed.
Now that your dough is ready, you're going to put it in a bowl that you're going to have it in probably for the next 12 to 24 hours. So once you get it in that bowl, you're going to do a set of stretch and folds. Just adding a little more elasticity to your dough. And then you're going to cover that dough up and you're going to let it sit out on your counter for about four hours. After the four hour time, you're going to go ahead and stick this in the refrigerator with the lid on and keep it there overnight, anywhere from 12 to 24 hours, and then you'll deal with it again the next day. Now the next day you're going to pull your dough out of the refrigerator and right from there you're going to turn it out onto the counter. So I'm turning mine out onto my dough mat and you'll see that this is extremely stiff because it's so cold and you are going to cut it into 24 equal sized pieces for your rolls. And It's easiest to do this while it's cold so don't let it come to room temperature. Now I'm very particular, I like all of my rolls to be the exact same size so I first measured the entire loaf, divided it by 24 with my calculator, and am going ahead and measuring each and every one of these rolls so they're the exact same size. Once you have all 24 rolls measured out, it's time to roll them. I do this simply by using a cupping hand motion. Roll your dough balls any way that you're comfortable doing. It doesn't really matter at this point in time. And then you're going to put them in a 13 by 9 pan. Now I grease the bottom of the 13 by 9 pan and I put a piece of parchment paper at the bottom of that pan. And the grease on the bottom of the pan holds the parchment paper in place. Now these dough balls are not sticky at all because they're still so cold. So when you're done doing this, you're going to go ahead and line them up in your pan, going four across and six down. Once your rolls are snugly in the pan, go ahead and cover it up and let them sit out on the counter, coming to room temperature and starting to rise and it'll take anywhere from about five to six hours, depending on what the temperature is in your home. And this is how they should look when they're ready to go into the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. You'll know that they're done when they're golden brown and I always use a thermometer to tell that the temperature has reached at least 180 degrees. I brush the top of them with butter. These were soft, delicious, and I hope that you'll give them a try. I know I'll be making these for a future Sunday meal for my family. This was a really easy recipe. It was my first time trying it, and they came out so delicious, and I was able to freeze them, and I've been just taking a few of them off each day and making sandwiches. Thank you for joining me at White Shadow Fair.